It's uh, me from an anonymous news candidate, Todd, here. Uh, the world's gone crazy, so I wanted to share something positive. I wanted, uh, So I have a little story to share with you. Uh, it was about a country a long time ago, a kingdom, actually. And this king had no son, and uh, he knew he needed to find it here. So uh, put posters out all around the country and invited all the young men to come and apply for the job. There was a young man who, uh, he, he was a poor, humble young man, and he worked, he had his own little farm and helped his family. His, and uh, his dad was dead, so he would, had become the, I guess, the, you know, like the main provider and uh, for the family. And he wanted to go apply for this job as king. And he was a very kind and very uh, compassionate human being. And uh, so anyway, it took him a couple of months of working uh, to save up money so he could get some clothes uh, to wear just to go in front of the king, to be presentable. And to get some food together because it was a long walk and it took him probably a couple weeks to get there by walking. So finally he gets all the things together and uh, he leaves to walk to go to apply for this job as king. On his way, he comes across a beggar, a poor man, and he looked really rough. And his clothes were all tattered and torn. And the old man's hair was dirty and clumpy and, you know, uh, uh, just a horrible sight. Uh, really sad to see this, this human. And he begging, please, sir, I am cold, I'm cold, and I'm hungry. Would you help me, sir? So good. So the guy said, you know, he started thinking and he's looking at this guy. So he took off all of his fancy clothes he had got to go see the king and he gave it to the old beggar that was on the side of the road. He gave him the grub that he had there um, to help him and uh, he put on the beggar's clothes and he was about to go back and something said to him, no, go. So he went. And when he got to the kingdom, he wasn't looking that good, of course. And he, he had his clothes on. And uh, he went in, and he was in this grand hall. He was introduced to, or shown how to get into the grand hall. And once someone would come, a scribe would come and tell him to go meet the king. So he washed himself up the best he can. And then uh, the scribe came in and told him it was his turn to go in and talk to the king. When he walked in, of course, uh, the king wasn't there first. Uh, then they announced the king. Uh, he bowed down. He kept his eyes looking down, you know, as you knee before the king. And he just happened to look his eyes up, and he couldn't believe what he seen. And the king seen him at the same time. Their eyes clicked. The man that he had helped on the side of the road was the king. So he asked the king, he said, why did you do this? Why did you do this to me? And he said, you know, he said, if I wouldn't have done this, he said, and you would have came to me, you would have probably done everything you could to impress me to get the job. But I needed to know that the man that was going to be king would have a heart for the people and would leave no one out in the kingdom. Not just be kind to the people that come, the rich people that come visit me at my kingdom. He would have to love everyone. And... Uh, of course, that guy got the job as king, and I thought that was just pretty cool. And I'll finish uh, with a couple, couple of things, because I've been studying Buddha. <laughs> to he who knows how to see everything in transition is to he who knows how to love everything is forgivable. Uh, I don't know who Krish Armurti is, but that's who wrote it. And I'd like to leave you with this. In life... Kindness is more important than wisdom, and the recognition, the recognition of this is the beginning of wisdom. A heart that is filled with compassion and love to our fellow human beings is the greatest gift we can give the world. Thank you.